and welcome to Inquire to Choir. My name is Eva and I'm here to help you, fellow choir people. Just in case you didn't know, Inquire to Choir is a channel dedicated to helping people working with non-professional choirs. If you happen to like it here, make sure to subscribe. Today is my birthday and I have to admit, I feel old. That is why I decided to celebrate a little bit extra this year and I'm really looking forward to it. But have you ever wondered, do you know any of your choir members' birthdays? Really, think about it. You, as a conductor, have the same group of people each week in front of you and you probably don't know their birthdays. And what to me is even worse, sometimes some choir members attend the rehearsal on their birthday. And you, as the conductor, you don't even know it, so you can't acknowledge it. Some of you watching this just thought, so what? Why is that a problem? Work is work. I can congratulate some of them in private, but I'm not obliged to do so anyway. Business and pleasure don't mix. Yes, I agree. Sometimes when the vibe and the communication between you and your choir is strictly professional, no birthdays have to be acknowledged. But as I had said in one of my previous videos, this is not the way I operate. Because I believe things should work differently when working with non-professional singers. In summary, I feel that non-professional and amateur choir singers should feel appreciated to be able to give their best foot forward while singing. How can their birthdays help with that, you wonder? Birthdays can help you create a bond among the whole choir. How to do it? First, ask your choir secretary to give you the list of all your choir members with their birthdays. Maybe even a chronological list? if possible. When you have that list, for every rehearsal check if somebody of your choir members happens to have a birthday that day. If someone does, when you arrive for the rehearsal, check if that particular person is in attendance. Start your rehearsal, do the warm-up, and after you have finished with your warm-up, you say, and for the final warm-up exercise, let's all sing a happy birthday song to Jane Smith who is celebrating today. And the choir all gathers and sings a happy birthday to Jane who is very happy. Why would Jane Smith be happy? Because you, as a conductor, remembered. She should be happy. She should be acknowledged by you and the choir. Meanwhile, you, as a conductor, haven't done that much. You haven't done too much, to be exact. You didn't show an exceptional or a too personal gesture. Everything was actually done by the choir. Choir members bond and they are happier. Plus, there are some benefits for the rehearsal as well if you do this. The first one being, the energy of the room shifted to a very positive one and you are off to a great start with the rehearsal. And the second one is the fact that the Happy Birthday song is actually a great warm-up song. You can even sing it more than once in a row with ascending and descending the key in which it's sung. For those of you who went all, this is too much work, are you crazy on me? Think again. This is just an extra 20 seconds you have to take care of during the rehearsal. It really isn't that much. And if you're worried how to know all your people in the choir, to be able to recognize who the birthday person is, you can check the last video. And that's it! Happy birthday if you happen to be celebrating today as I am or will be, and I'll see you next time. Bye!